and this is Red the Wonder Dog. Red may stay here or she may jump up to see Siobhan or just go off someplace else. There's no way of knowing. She's 13 weeks old. She is very much a puppy, but she's also interested and tired. So what I'm going to show you today is a technique that I've heard about uh, using uh, other types of prosthetics. So I thought I'd give it a go with gelatin and I found that it works pretty well. And what it consists of is applying adhesive to the skin applying adhesive to the inside of the appliance, powdering them both so you can position them, reposition them, and then pressing them into place so that uh, they'll stick after the, the um, body warmth comes through and a bit of moisture from perspiration and that sort of thing. She's gone by red. So let me just show you without sort of getting flowery about it. I've got our uh, small exit wound appliance here. Um, I just cleaned it off. I'm just going to apply some adhesive, again, not right up to the edge, but pretty darn close to it. This, I'm not going to concentrate on getting perfect edges on this. I just want to show you the actual process and how simple it is and really how well it works and what you can do if you have any problems with it, because there are plan B's with this as well. So I'm going to set that to the side just to dry for a moment. It won't take long. Prosthetic adhesive dries very quickly on gelatin. And now I'll put a patch of adhesive on my hand. I'm gonna go a little bit larger than the appliance, just for safety's sake. And there's another reason why, and I'll show you that in a bit as well. So well in excess. She's now comfortable behind me, keeping the small on my back warm, which is very nice. So that's pretty much there. Now what I'm gonna do is to get some powder. Not a great deal of it. And just lightly dust the appliance. That's all you need. You don't need or want any more than that. Just enough to say it's powdered. And the same thing with the skin. Maybe not quite dry enough, but close enough for our purposes. And you can see the powder sticking to it very, very well. The edges are blended in, stop it. Right, powdered appliance, powdered skin. Ability to move it around, wondrous. Start pressing it into place and it starts sticking. Pressure, don't be shy. Get some serious pressure on that. Red knows how to do it. And you can see starting to do its thing already. It'll take a little bit of time. Uh, the body heat has to build up, a little bit of moisture has to build up. Now, here's, here's a special thing. If you're not sure about whether this is gonna fully bond or not, and like with all these things, there's no ironclad guarantees, but it's a good solid technique. What you can do is get some trusty IPA, isopropyl alcohol, just a little bit. And I'm going to try this because I think this is going to work brilliantly. I'm going to get right under the edges right now so that it activates the prosaid on my hand. And when that is activated, that should grab pretty well onto the appliance. It'll take a minute for it to evaporate. How's that? Now, if you're in a hurry and you need to bash some appliances on, that's the way to do it. And I've done it like this. I've had to go through appliances for films really quickly. How long did that take? A minute maybe in the actual application with explaining it? Man, if you're doing this on set, it would take seconds. Give it a bit of time, step away from it for a little while, let it warm up, let a little bit of moisture build underneath it, press it home again, some of that alcohol will disappear. If you're very nervous about it, you can go over the edge with a bit more prosade. You can lift those edges up, sneak a little prosade underneath it. Experiment, try it out. Um, you find uh, the uh, prosthetic adhesive, I keep saying prosade, it's not. Um, the prosthetic adhesive is um, very, very flexible and does some wondrous things. And the IPA really does help quite a bit. So give it a try, one blended appliance a few seconds later. we
Yeah.